For the second time in two months, fog brings disaster to Britain's railways. 200 yards from Dagenham Heathway Station, 10 people are killed and 87 injured when the 635 Fenchurch Street to Shubri Ness, pulled by a tank engine running in reverse, smashes into the rear of the 620 Fenchurch Street to South End, which was halted at a signal. Rescuers from nearby houses help to shore up the wrecked coach and assist the police and ambulance men to free the trapped passengers while lamps and flares cast a foggy light on the grim scene. While the men on the spot do what they can, urgent calls go out for more help. Police cars withdrawn from patrol bring medical staff from hospitals in Romford and Ilford. Other hospitals stand by to receive casualties. Emergency blood transfusions are given on the spot from bottles of plasma. Fire vehicles groping through the fog have brought every available fireman from the Essex, East Ham and West Ham brigades. From local surgeries, GPs hurry to the spot to aid the injured, having first sent their own patients home. Throughout the night, rescue work goes on in shocking visibility. This is the first fatal accident on this part of the line since 1875. And for the past 20 years, the line has been fitted with a system of automatic train control, which is supposed to make such disasters impossible by warning the driver and automatically applying the brakes when a signal is a danger. 83 years without a fatal accident is a fine record, but British Railways and the public will want to know how a supposedly infallible system broke down and cost the lives of 10 passengers.